I was dying the first episode when you were like, it's almost as dramatic as when I got sent home on The Bachelor. <laughs> and then you're like, and then you're, they're like, um, I knew you would like that. <laughs> oh, the fourth wall shit on this fucking show mm -hmm. is so amazing. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you ready to hit record? Yeah. yeah Great. Well, okay, well, that. yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> with three of the most iconic reality TV villains in all time. We have Johnny Fairplay, Corinne, and Tiffany New York. And I love that we have the three of you together, especially you two who are roommates. And your friendship, your sister bond, really, um, it shocked me. I didn't necessarily expect it. You really consult her. Why? What about Corinne really made you care for her? Was it just because she was your roommate? You used the perfect word, Zach, because this is my little sister girl. Oh, okay. She is my little sister. You know what I'm saying? Like, when Corinne came into the house, my saving grace. Like, mm. she was my sounding board for everything crazy. She kept me sane. You know, I wanted to just, like, pull my hair out the first or second night of being uh -huh. there, but having Corinne to wake up to every single morning really really did she's like a, a cup of Folgers but mm. blonde <laughs> but not but not powdered coffee <laughs> <laughs> and Krim we see that you have a little bit of difficulty in the first episode especially with Amarosa did you really not know who she was or were you stirring the pot a little bit I, I've i never seen her before in my life. I, everyone was saying the name, so I figured it was her, but I didn't know who she was. Yeah. And, like, honestly, I love that you bring up I was having difficulty in the first episode. This is an exclusive to you. Uh, this is my exclusive today. Well, yeah, we've been, we've been doing exclusives today. <laughs> I, this is the room. I, what you don't see is I spent a lot of the first day really, like, hysterically crying. Yeah. I was like, what did I wear? Was it just because you were doing? overwhelmed with, like, the cameras and getting back into the swing of things? No, I don't care about the cameras. Yeah. The cameras all day. Yeah. But Same. I, yeah, <laughs> give me my clothes up. Seriously. It set in, like, at one point it clicked and it set in that I needed to compete against all these people. And I and I'm, like, really, like, I'm, like, I don't know if I can do this uh -huh. type of thing. And I got really scared and I was really to myself. And I don't know if you can really see that or tell. But, yeah, that I spent a lot of time away because I was really, like, nervous and scared that day yeah really so yeah. i'm surprised i got as much airtime as i did because i was like i don't i tried to stay away that well the day. first episode is yours <laughs> what no yeah, it's not yes ma'am did you did, did you not watch it i did i also don't maybe i got something different because i also don't remember that i knew you would like that thing yeah, i didn't yeah. see that oh, yeah, i no, didn't the, the, see the, something the, else yeah, about episode it. one is corinne's episode it's corinne's world so. <laughs> and, and, and maybe episode 10 is okay. who knows i have a question this is for the survivor fan me. When you went on Survivor Micronesia, did you ask them to vote you out or did they just vote you out? Because he was the first eliminated. Yeah. So Micronesia, eight days before I left, I did the Fox Reality Awards mm. and uh, Bonaducci threw me over his head and knocked <laughs> out my uh, uh, front four teeth. I had a, uh, and shattered my jaw. Okay. And uh, over the course of two days, uh, I think it was like 15 hours, I had multiple surgeries and my, my jaw was wired and, and, and you know I, I did all the root canals and stuff I, like I, I remember day two Rhino from Survivor was holding my hand there and uh, I, I stopped counting at 18 Novocaine shots because oh my, my adrenaline God. was just eating through it and uh, I had agreed to go and then I went out there and uh, they're just like fair play can you do it and this was back when they didn't bring people back yeah this is the, so, so, the, the second season yeah the second time ever and so I was just like yeah I gotta do it so I, I went out there and, and and actually they they allowed me to have mouth guards for challenges mm -hmm. well we get out there the show begins and, and Jeff goes there's a hidden immunity idol like right here come find it <laughs> and you know so we don't have guards it's not a challenge and so I see it and I'm going towards it and Yao Man comes, comes from behind shove me into the side of the boat I go face first to the oh, boat wow. and that's game over so you were just done after that and point. so I go to production I'm just I'm like I'm done I'm like yeah. you know because my jaw is already shattered uh -huh. and I'm just like this is too much and, and you're not allowed pain medication because uh -huh. I mean, it's a survivor yeah. so, so yeah. I, I understand that it's this little cocky little asshole producer he, he goes he goes uh, what are you going to say because uh, uh, Bonaduce knocked your teeth out I'm like fuck that I'm like I'm not getting the airtime. my wife was pregnant at the time I'm like I'm going to say I'm quitting for love mm -hmm. and they're like who's going to believe that I'm like the same motherfuckers that believe the dead grandma lie let's go yeah yeah. Well, exactly. congratulations on your recent engagement. Thank you so much. But I also much. think yes. because you got off of Survivor Micronesia so early, you have a lot of shoes to fill on this show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where no, you this, left off this, this is, on this, season seven, lying this, about his dead grandfather. Would you guys ever dead do grandma. that? Yeah. Dead grandmother. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. My, my grandmother is alive. and she's, So is mine. She's so actually, excited. Well, actually, I, 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 she passed away two weeks ago. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, no I'm lying. Oh. oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. You got to experience it. 
questions I'm asking everyone. Who do you guys think is the biggest villain on this cast? Backstabbing, conniving, cutthroat, cares about nobody but themselves. Yeah, who is that? That's Omarosa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she's smart, too. Oh, she's she's like that on the show and in real life, so yeah. there's no surprises there. Who do you think came into the season wanting a redemption, wanting to kind of clear up their image? Jax. Yeah. Jax wanted this airtime so badly to try to convince the world he was good. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut everybody no. off, but no. I... No, I, I there. Woo! I feel so much better getting that out. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I, 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 would, I wouldn't say shake, but he's just... He, he's only there for the memes. No. He, doesn't, he doesn't care. He literally he care said he, like he was there for the memes. I'm just like, dude, because like we we had to do, like he just wanted gifts. We we we, 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 <laughs> yeah. we, we had to, we had to do pickups, mm -hmm. and I, and he was just like, how do you think my story? I'm like, I'm like you're kind of on the bubble, and he and so we do pickups. He goes, I really lean in on the villain shit. I'm just like, mm -hmm. oh my god, I'm like, you're no longer on the bubble. <laughs> Corinne, I know that you and Shake both live in Miami, so yeah. and there was some dating rumors that I did start. Oh. 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 Outside of the show, we have some things that will play out. I don't want to give anything away, but there are moments where him and I have some words said to each other, oh. and okay. it does it does become a very big part of things for me in my journey on uh -huh. House of Villains. But yes, him and I have seen each other cordially in Miami, and we will see friends. Fr oh, friends! Friends! friends no. like, 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 okay. like if, if you want the definition, you're not gonna give him a rose. <laughs> Unfortunately, he will not be getting a rose from me. I but I love him as a friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have roses at home. I should have brought them for you. But <laughs> Tiffany, you're so likable and lovable. I can't even imagine calling you a villain, especially watching the first couple of episodes. So how do you feel representing House of Villains? I feel good about it. And I think that what it is is that I can't hide my vulnerability, mm -hmm. you know, and um, I can be a villain, but there's also a soft, warm, gushy side to me. And I'm not going to yeah. hide that just to try to seem badass for mm -hmm. anybody. And I just like to be brazen when the opportunity needs it to be. Because I hate when people just are just at somebody or attacking someone because mm -hmm. they're smaller for yeah. no apparent reason other than just to just have the claws out for no reason. That's never going to be me. So yeah. if the claws come out, it's because you sharpened them and made me jump out at you. I love that. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I want to know who from your franchises would you cast on House of Villains Season 2? Who? It's going to be us back again. Right. <laughs> yeah. no one who else, else from The Bachelor? Like, I guess some people would have expected to see Chad. Ooh. <laughs> so, God. What about you? Who do you think from Survivor would go on House of Villains 2? Uh, I like uh, Corinne. That's who I was going to say, too. Uh, I, there's a Corinne on Survivor. There's a Corinne on Survivor. Yeah, yeah and I have her jury speech memorized. Know. Yeah, her jury speech is... She... It is one of the meanest goodness. things ever. Like, mm -hmm. she, like, she, like this girl was, like, had, had gotten... It, she was like, she goes, I wish you had died from, <gasps> from, from an OT. What? <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I, I, I think Corinne earned her spot on, oh, on, hell, the, on, the, on the Villain Hall of Fame. Absolutely. Yeah, so, yeah. A thousand percent. Corinne's my favorite. this Corinne. Too. Oh yeah, don't no, just I was talking her. I was yeah, yeah. That's why she's here. <laughs> 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 Listen, we are so happy and she's here. Bachelor Nation that Thank it's you. Here. She's here yeah. round one, Corinne for Survivor round two, and maybe there's a reason for that. Okay. All right. I think I think the two Corinne's need to have some words. Uh, yeah. I, I'm for that. Is oh, the Corinne God. off? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the best kind of off. Okay, before we close out, tell us a little tease what we can expect from this season. Why do fans need to tune in to see these iconic villains? Mm -hmm. I will say female domination, we're the boys. Okay. The men are turned into boys in this house mm -hmm. okay. because the girls have it. Yes. Okay. Uh, um, corn? Juicy, juicy tea, romances, non-romances. Cheese pasta? Corn. 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 Well, it's no, a, it's literal, a corn party. Literal corn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And what about you? It's my love letter. My love letter to reality television. Yeah. I've never been more proud. Okay. Well, I am so excited to keep watching this season, and y'all better tune in to House of Villains October 12th on E. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I just see the picture with you all. Okay. Oh.